the, the biggest thing that PFW offers the market is an expertise in the dealership itself. Um, so it's really not so much that we're, we're um, gearheads and involved in the software and technology specialists as much as we're interested in how we can use technology and how we can exploit technology to make things work better in the dealership. I think again, what we're talking about on this is is job coding. Uh, as far as as that, every time the technician goes in and creates a work order, that he tries to pull a job code out, and that job code would be to to make sure that uh, we have the right time on that, that the job codes are out there for him to pick from. And so, what we have done on this is is we have a a person in charge of that that type of thing we just instructed them that you create the job codes and so he uses some of the John Deere job codes and some of those we pick out just as Prairie Land job codes and he'll go ahead and and create those those codes for all the technicians that we have in the company uh, it's pretty important I think I was to have a job code in front of the technician we like to uh, Right now, our, our, our percentage of, of job codes that the techs are using is right at 80%. And to me, it's always like running a race. If you know where the finish line is, you know how fast to run to the race, and you know what time you need to beat to beat the other others around you. And so, again, if you can do a job in, in uh, three hours and it only takes you two hours to do the job, if the job code is three hours, you can do it in two hours, it's a gain for you, and it's also good for the customer. So. We, we have worked hard at that. Again, we feel like uh, we can get all our stores on board. If we have one person that looks at these job codes and continues to bring new job codes to the table and to create these job codes for the, for the technicians. So that's, that's basically how we run that program. I think I think John Deere's codes. They have different codes. They have some old codes. You know, we call those the uh, the SPGs is what we call them. And then they've gone to a new system. They call it Marketing Service Times MSTs. And so we look at the old John Deere codes. We look at the new ones that they've created. And then we look at what is Prairie Land actually doing out there. And from a combination of of using those three different. Uh, examples of job coding as far as what it, what time does it take I think we can come up with a pretty accurate uh, time factor that's fair to the customer and also fair to the technician so we we draw off of, of what John Deere has got out there for us also you know since I've been on board with the company and that's been 12 years now we started working there was some of that going on prior but I think in the last 11 years it's always been a continuation and probably in the last five years we really have focused to make sure we have more job codes and more job codes because we have found out that's the essence of, of really understanding what the time is that we have to work with and to make sure that technician understands for productivity and revenue side of things and then also being fair to the customer. The other stores were on flat rate, uh, but again, it was all over the board. You had, we, when we merged, we brought three different companies in and so we had uh, some were doing flat rates according to j some John Deere MST. Some had some of their own also. And, uh, you know, some of them, again, were not doing a whole lot of it. So when we merged with all the stores, we decided that's important to get everybody on the same page. So if a customer goes to store one, he's going to get that same price as if he goes to store four. And so we had to try to bring that all together and, and get all the job codes to be the same. And we're still working at it. We have ways to go on that.